Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, we have an article from Forbes. Will T-Mobile's momentum hold up in Q3? So I wanted to talk about that. T-Mobile reports their third quarter earnings call October 27th, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. So I wanted to talk about that and, and kind of give you my take on where the momentum is heading and why I think the momentum is going to hold up into the third quarter. So a lot of previews are out there. I've received even more previews over the last few days, and a lot of them are expecting T-Mobile to be the leader in everything. Ads, total ads, cash flows, uh, cash flow increase, all that. I see it all. Revenue, um, they're, they're expecting better margins because of the decommissioning of the Sprint network. So all of that is anticipated. Again, none of it is official until T-Mobile officially reports the numbers. But that's what the market is anticipating. So I fully expect T-Mobile to continue its momentum, not based off of the wireless growth, but based on the fixed wireless access growth. And let me explain. So the issue that I had with Verizon, they added 342,000 customers. But, it, but based off of the wireless ads, it looks like they converted none of them over to wireless. So maybe... All 342 customers that were added, 1,000 customers that were added for broadband all came from existing accounts. It's a possibility, but I don't see that being 100%. I still think there, there was a percentage of new customers that are not a part of Verizon that got this product. And based on the numbers, they were not able to close them and bundle them in with wireless. That's what T-Mobile does better. They convert. A percentage of customers from these fixed wireless ads and they get them bundled in with wireless and they do that very aggressively right in these new rule parts that they're getting into which fixed wireless access is, is a better long-term play because there's less people to pull from that capacity they try the very best to get those people onto wireless insider discounts third line free, fourth line free, whatever they got to do, they get those customers converted over to wireless at all cost. And I think that's a big deal because that will show you how dedicated T-Mobile is to making this work. Verizon just like, ah, whatever, you know, you get this product, cool, you know, get it online. We close our stores at six now. You don't even have to come into the store. We want you to do it digitally. T-Mobile is the opposite. T-Mobile is opening stores in these new markets, brand new stores. They had never had any retail presence in these areas. They're opening them. They're staying open to seven, eight, some, some areas, nine, you know, come see us. We'll, we'll hook you up. And that's, I think that human interaction, that sales, I think is a, is a better result. You get the customer in asking about the home broadband product. Hey, we got wireless too. Who do you currently have? Oh, this is what we offer. We're cheaper. Bam. That's the conversation starter. So that's why I think T-Mobile's momentum will hold up. They have several products now that have demand, right? Wireless has demand because of the cheaper pricing or perceived cheaper pricing. And then home broadband has demand because people are tired of their cable. They're tired of the bills going up after the second year. They're tired of customer service. So regardless of what T-Mobile does, the customer is still going to be attracted to at least call, to at least find out what it's about. Even if they never even get the product, they're at least looking at the T-Mobile website. They're at least calling, hey, what is, what is the, this home internet product about? How can I get it? And that right there is big because that's a conversation starter for the sales team to say, hey, this product is not available, but we do have wireless and this is what we're currently offering and we're cheaper. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't know that. I'm with Verizon. I'm paying this amount a month. Well, this can save me money. So you guys catch my drift. T-Mobile is getting foot traffic off of the demand of the product. You know, it's not because the, the network is so great, this, that, and the third. No, it's because people want home broadband, they want a different option, and they want a cheaper price. So off of that, T-Mobile is getting a lot of foot traffic and conversations that would have otherwise not happened. And that's what, that's what Verizon is failing to realize 
They need to get these people into the store so the conversation can at least happen. You know, never mind if you close that customer or if that customer walks, the conversation at least happened. And it's on their it's on the customer's mind now, right? Let's say the customer leaves a T-Mobile store and they've been presented a cheaper cost, another home broadband option, and the customer doesn't close that day. And they take that paperwork with them. That's going to sit on their mind over time, right? Over time. And let's say the cable company makes another mistake or Verizon raised that bill that month. Boom. Hey, you remember this T-Mobile paperwork? They're cheaper. This is what they got for home broadband. Let's get it. You know, they might not close that same day, but let's say three, four weeks later, after that another another mistake from the cable provider or wireless provider, they might be in there. You know, so I do fully expect that momentum to hold up. I fully expect that momentum to continue into the fourth quarter as well. And I don't expect T-Mobile to skip a beat. In fact, I fully expect them to accelerate. I don't know how yet. You know, I'm, I'm expecting some kind of move. I, I recently saw... As of October 13th, they're doing a BOGO for first responders and uh, I think military Magenta Max accounts too. They're doing BOGOs for the lines. So that's that's not the main consumers, but they are trying to get more aggressive and accelerate and I fully expect that to continue. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.